today we're on step three of seven on how to build your brand from scratch it was a brilliant question that claire from leeds asked if you want to hear the question and the first two steps make sure you go back and uh, watch those in this channel as well this is all part of how to build your brand from scratch <music> In step one, we've already looked at how do you do your research properly, not just ask a few questions, but how do you do the right research and, and really build up your listening muscle, going to the, the listening gym when you're going through this process. So how do you do that in a really effective way that you get the answers that you want? So we looked at that in step one. In step two, we looked at how do you craft your offer? In step three, which is where we are now, I'm assuming you've done those two pieces and now we're just going to put that offer together. So, uh, sorry, you've created the offer. Now we're going to look at the launch. You're putting the, the soft launch together so that you're getting that offer in front of more people. So there are a few things that I gave you in step two to be able to start going through this process. But in step three, it's very simple. This is about you getting together either a focus group or... Um, jumping on Zoom or Skype or FaceTime for an hour. You know, I would suggest that you do it as part of a group instead of doing it one to one. You can do it one to one. It just take, obviously takes more time. I'm more a fan of um, jumping on Zoom or jumping on Skype and getting a, a small group of people together, uh, like a focus group and asking questions and getting all of the answers that I possibly can get within that hour and, you know, you can get people together for an hour pretty easily. If you go beyond that, then it can get a bit tricky. So an example of that is recently one of our Brand Builders Club members, Judith Quinn. She put a post into the Brand Builders Club group and said she was looking for six people to jump on Zoom for her to test a process with them. And, and hers was around public speaking. She said, I want to test this process around public speaking. I want to test it on six people so that I can work out what else do I need to add to this program and I'd love your ideas on what else I can be including that would really create a finished product for somebody and really help them with their public speaking and she got six people pretty much immediately said yep yeah, I'll definitely do that as a result of that she held a little focus group on zoom and they all gave her a feedback and actually she ended up selling a couple of places onto her public speaking program as a result of doing that little focus group. And we've had several members that have gone through that and said how excellent it was. So, and that's really the point of brand builders is to make sure you've got a loving, supportive group of people that will go through the process for you to give you that feedback. But also quite a lot of the time there are brand builders around the world who will then pay you to go through the actual process itself. That's where the championship of each other at all times comes in. That's our highest value at Brand Builders. So really think about who's your list going to be. So I'm going to challenge you to think about, are you going to create a small focus group of five to 10 people? Are you going to, like I did with the Seven Step Brand Kickstarter, put a post out and say, I'm looking for 21 people to go through this online process and catch any errors or glitches or things that are missing or give me feedback so that I can improve it and craft it even better. So the next people that go through it, it's even better for them. Uh, so you could do that. And I advise that whatever that number is of people that you want to go through your process or to give you feedback on that process, I advise that you make sure you can deliver on that promise. It's no good you saying I'm looking for 100 people and then 100 people go through it and then you can't keep up with the amends or the, the changes that need to be made or you just can't reach out to everybody and then they're going to be feeling pretty left out. So then you've created brandalism. They're not going to be feeling good about your brand if you've promised something and then you're not delivering it. And if you're not doing that with something that's free, then they're not getting the, the vibe that when they pay you to go through that process, then they're going to get treated any better. So this is your opportunity of first, last and lasting impressions, right? So I want you to make your list, whether that's 5, 10, 20, however many that list is, and decide on what process you're going to use to get that feedback. Are you going to get them to go through the whole program? Are you going to get them to go through the first couple of steps? Are you going to 
as Judith did, um, you know, just create a one hour of uh, brand building power on Zoom and get all the feedback you can in that hour. And then that's it. You know, are you I mean, that's a, as Judith did a perfect opportunity to say, well, look, if I create this, how many of you would want to actually go through it? And what would you be prepared to invest in it to have received this transformation? That's when you can do even more testing around the price and everything. That's when you're putting out something that really, really does make a difference to people and that they're prepared to pay for. And that's before you've even created it. So that's the perfect early adopter process, getting people who want to get in early because they're getting more support. They're getting more one on one, more hands on feedback than anybody else that ever goes through that program. So you can uh, go through that process of really charging and valuing what you're worth. So that's your task for today. You're going to come up with your list. And if you can, I would go through all of your, hello, Bob. I would go through all of your um, friends that are on Facebook or LinkedIn. Look at the people you're connected to on Instagram. Look at all the different places that people are. And come on in. And, um, and make a list. And if you can make a list of 100, that would be brilliant. It's going to take you about an hour to because you're just going through and you're looking at friends. You don't need to have their numbers. You don't even need to have their email addresses. If you're connected on social media, that's enough. So then you can just make that list of 100. You might only reach out to five or 10 or 20 of them. But if you've got a list of 100, that means you've now got 100 potential ambassadors who can help you to get the message out there when you are ready to launch. And we're going to talk about your launch in part four. If you've enjoyed this show and you're enjoying the series, please do make sure that you subscribe. And I'd really be appreciative if you could share it with others. Who could you share the How to Build a Brand channel with that it's going to really help and support them because I'm on a mission to help and support and create as many one drops as I possibly can. I'm making this one drop movement matter. And if you want to go and see what I'm doing with one drop movement, go to onedropmovement.com and you'll see this is actually a thing. This is a thing that I'm doing where I'm building a whole universe full of championship and collaboration to to unite instead of fight and to collaborate instead of compete. And there's a whole world of amazing, juicy stuff that's going on at OneDropMovement.com. And there are lots of brand building resources and articles, and there's loads of support and some great programs at SammyBlindell.com. So if you want some more support and you want me as your mentor, do go across to SammyBlindell.com and you can look at the various different ways that I can jump in and help you with your business. So uh, take care, have fun, be happy, be that drop you want to see in the world. I'll see you in step four. But before we go, I have a question for you. As always, I've got a question. Here is your question for this show. If you could have one great thing happen in your business over this next week, what would it be? If you could have one thing happen in your business, one great thing happen in your business this week, what would it be? Pop it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next show.